Back home, the Montana woman nominated by President Joe Biden to head the U.S. Bureau of Land Management had her confirmation hearing before a Senate committee. And the hearing for Tracy Stone Manning was not without some partisan fireworks. MTN Chief Political Reporter Mike Dennison reports. Right from the start of Stone Manning's hearing before the Senate Energy and Natural Resources Committee, Republican senators didn't hold back. Here's Senator John Barrasso of Wyoming. The Bureau of Land Management needs a director who believes in and is committed to upholding the agency's multiple use mandate. Based on her record, I'm concerned that Ms. Stone Manning does not fill the bill. Perhaps most troubling is Ms. Stone, Manning, Ms. Stone Manning's unvarnished political partisanship. Stone Manning has worked for the National Wildlife Federation in Missoula since 2017. But before that, she was chief of staff for Democratic Governor Steve Bullock and part of his cabinet as director of the State Department of Environmental Quality. She also served as state director for Democratic U.S. Senator John Tester, who introduced her at the hearing Tuesday and answered Barrasso's remarks. And she is somebody that believes in multiple use and appropriate use. And I will tell you this, I would not be here today introducing her if I thought she was the person that you described. Montana's other U.S. Senator, Republican Steve Daines, directed several pointed questions at Stone Manning about her positions on resource development, including opposition to a long-proposed copper and silver mine near Libby in northwest Montana. In 2015, you authored an article that called the Rock Creek Mine philosophically abhorrent, to quote yourself. Rock Creek Mine would create 300 full-time jobs and bring in $175 million in tax revenues. My question is, is it still your position that Rock Creek Mine and similar mining projects are, quote, philosophically abhorrent? Stone Manning didn't answer directly, but had this to say. I hope that you would look to my track record as director of the Department of Environmental Quality in my ability to work closely with industrial applicants and be fair and be transparent and to make sure that um, any development uh, is able to follow the law. If confirmed, she'd be the first confirmed director for BLM in more than four years. Former President Trump had a series of acting BLM directors that were never confirmed, including one that a judge ordered removed in response to a lawsuit from then Montana Governor Bullock. Reporting from Helena, Mike Dennison, MTN News. The BLM oversees 245 million acres of federal lands, mostly in the West, and millions of acres of federal mineral rights. The Senate committee took no immediate action on Stone Manning's confirmation.